Imagine if you had an employee that works for you 24 seven, that doesn't cost you a salary, doesn't need to be trained and managed and will never ask for any commission bonuses. Well, I built it. And uh, if you think about it, a normal desk receptionist or a salesperson can cost a business thousands of dollars plus commissions every single month just for answering phone calls and text messages, walking customers through their initial sales cycles. Set apart, you constantly have to hire, fire and train new people, adding thousands of dollars more in expense to each person that you add to the team. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up an AI agent for one of my clients who pays me $2,500 per month to build since it automatically can pick up phone calls, interact with customers like a human, and even perform specific actions in a CRM. So if you're a business looking to automate communication using AI in sales, customer service, HR, or literally any other department, and you want to save time and money, then this video is for you. Now, on the flip side, if you're new to business and you want to learn the most profitable skill of the century where companies will happily pay you every single month to implement exactly what I'm about to show you, then trust me, you do not want to miss out on this video walkthrough. So if you're like me and you want to use AI to power your business or you want to sell AI to other businesses and actually make it productive and profitable, but you don't know where to start, you don't know which AI tools to use, you don't know how to build AI solutions like chatbots or AI automations, and you're just completely new to the process, I got you. That's why I created the AI Academy to help you start and scale your business with the power of AI. It's a small community dedicated to your AI journey, giving you everything you need in order to succeed. You'll get access to the courses so you can learn how to apply AI, weekly calls with myself and my team to get the support you need, and most importantly, you'll get access to the community so you can network with other like-minded people who are actively building an AI. So if you wanna use AI in your business or if you wanna learn how to build AI solutions to sell it to other businesses and you're ready Ready to get started? Join the AI Academy and I'll put the link down below and I'll see you on the other side. So before we get into building this bot, you're probably curious, what does this thing do and how will it benefit me? Just for context, I built this AI agent for one of my clients who's actually owns tattoo shops that can actually answer phone calls and help my team book up more appointments, allowing my tattoo artists to focus on what they do best. While I built this for a tattoo shop, this AI solution can literally be applied to any type of business, any department, or any role that involves communication. There are so many practical use cases for this AI solution, and I'm super excited to see what you guys are going to build from this video. So here's how mine works. Hey, this is Samantha at Aloha Tattoo. How can I help you today? Hey, Samantha, how's it going? I was wondering if I can get a tattoo on my arm. Are you guys open? Hey. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Yes, we're open until all appointments are finished around midnight. Getting a tattoo on your arm sounds awesome. Do you have a design in mind or need some help with that? I was thinking about filling out the rest of my arm. I already have a lion on my arm, um, but I want to get like a snake wraparound. That sounds like a cool idea. A snake wraparound can really make your arm stand out. To get started, could you text us a photo of your arm with the existing line? That'll help our artists understand the space they're working with. Also, do you have any reference photos or specific styles in mind for the snake? I do. I want to get it in black and gray. Great choice with black and gray. It can give the snake a really sleek look. Could you text us any reference photos you have? That'll yeah. help our artists. Absolutely. I'll text it over to this number. Perfect. Once you've sent the photos, we can move forward. Do you have a preferred artist in mind, or would you like some recommendations? Um, I have a few, uh, but if you want to recommend me some, I'll definitely take recommendations. Awesome. We have some talented artists who specialize in black and gray work. Once you send over the photos, I can connect you with a booking manager who can recommend the best fit for your design. When are you thinking of getting this done? Any preferred dates or times? Yeah, so I'm going to be in town next week, um, and I will be available uh, Tuesday afternoon. Great. I'll note down Tuesday afternoon for you. Let me just gather a bit more info, and then I can connect you with a booking manager to finalize everything. Could I get your full name and email address, please? Yeah, it's Blake Baswell, and my email address is just my first and last name at gmail.com. Thanks, Blake. I've got all the info I need. Let me connect you with a booking manager to finalize your appointment and discuss any other details. Hang tight. 
So what does this AI agent do? It can actually answer incoming phone calls automatically. It helps potential customers get information, really just to find the right services. It can collect and organize information in a CRM, which is a customer relationship manager. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you what that is in a little bit. It's also really good at qualifying leads and it can even route the call to a human. So if you're not fully trusting the AI to actually like book appointments or do QA, it can actually route to somebody like a front desk or someone in the sales position. As a result, it saves time, labor costs, and actually increases the efficiency on your team. So how much does this cost to set up? Now, the tech stack that I like to use is called Go High Level. I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. But as you can see, we're going to be focusing more on voice AIs. There's two options. First off, you can do the usage base, which is 13 cents a minute, or you could pay $97 per month just for unlimited usage. Now, all these other services that they do provide, I will be creating YouTube videos on them in advance. But in this video, we're just going to be focusing on voice AI, which is the voice agent. So how much can I sell this AI solution? So I'm going to put a link to another YouTube video that I recorded in the past, but I actually have a free course on this. Basically, this is the different pricing structures if you guys wanted to sell this AI solution to businesses. Now, my biggest recommendation for this specific AI voice agent would range anywhere from $1,500 to $10,000 per month, what you should be charging. If you guys want to go more in depth to that specific video, and you guys want to learn how to actually start and scale an AI business, I'm going to leave a link to that right above. So why does this make sense for businesses? The first reason is 24 seven support. Okay. So this AI voice agent is able to handle customer inquiries around the clock for better customer satisfaction, cost savings. So it can automate tasks and actually can handle multiple calls simultaneously. For example, if you have just like one front desk assistant or one sales associate, imagine if you're getting two calls, three calls, five calls at a time, how are they able to do that? One person isn't able to physically do that. So as a result, it reduces staff needs. Lead generation would be number three. So it's actually able to qualify leads and collect customer information, boosting conversions, scalability, which this AI agent could handle increased call volumes without additional staff. And finally, we have engagement. So it can manage appointments. It can answer frequently asked questions and really just improve customer loyalty. Now I'm not advocating to eliminate an entire department or staff member and replace them with an AI by any means. Now, in most cases, this can actually be more dangerous for your business if not done correctly. But what I am an advocate for is efficiency. Now, if you can integrate AI to work with a team, for example, this AI can work off hours when my team is asleep, then this can be a very practical solution. But if you're a small business that can't afford to scale by hiring like an entire sales team, for example, or if you don't have the time or skills to do it yourself, then this AI solution could be a great option for you as well. Remember, an AI can never take a day off, never ask for a penny in commissions, and will never have to be replaced or retrained, simply updated, which I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Now, what you want to do is to automate processes where the risks are low and the reward is high. So that said, let's get straight into the build out. So first things first, on the bottom left of our screen, we're gonna go ahead and navigate our settings. So we're gonna click settings, and then we're gonna find voice AI agents. Now, this is where we're gonna be configuring all of these settings and managing everything for our AI voice agents. In this example, we're going to hit the blue button on the top right that says create agent. Now, what it's going to have you do is it's going to have you fill in the agent details first. So you can customize your agent according to your needs. So let's go ahead and give our agents a name. Let's name her Gabby. And then we're going to fill in the business name. As you can see, I already did. We're going to build like another AI desk assistant. We're just going to name it tattoo shop. I'm just going to set English as the main language. It should be English by default. Then after that, we're going to choose the voice. Now, as you can see, there are multiple options of voices. So again, pick and choose which one best fits your business and your brand. My personal favorite is Samantha, so we're just gonna choose her. This is actually what she sounds like. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. That sounds like a nice desk assistant. So we're gonna choose her. Make sure you set your time zone and then the directions. So go high level automatically will set it to inbound calls. So this basically means the agent can pick up any inbound calls. So whenever they call like a dedicated number, then this agent can pick up. Now they are releasing the feature of outbound calls very soon. So make sure you guys stay up to date on that because that one's gonna be very powerful. And lastly, you're gonna set the agent's initial message. So again, you can always come back and change any of these things. And before we hit next, let's go ahead and hit advanced settings. We can set the call time limit, which basically means this is the set duration of the call the AI agent could be talking with the potential customer. So I'm going to set that to five minutes. And then the response speed, this one's really important because you can actually adjust how quickly the agent replies during the call. So if it's a little bit too slow, if you don't really like the speed or like the little delay that the agent is responding, you can actually change it here. Now for my 
experience, Brisk actually works the best. But again, play around and see what works best for you. So we're going to go ahead and hit confirm. And then we're just going to set the initial message that the agent is going to say. So the agent is actually going to pick up and she's going to say, hey, you've reached tattoo shop. How can I help today? This is the first thing that your potential customer will hear. Now, once we're happy with all these settings, again, you can always go back and edit this. Then let's go ahead and click next. Now, the second step is we're going to set up the agent's goals. Now, my biggest recommendation is just going straight to the advanced mode, although you can use these basic functionalities here, which there should be no issue. For me, I want to put in my own custom prompt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go click that blue button and then we're going to see a prompt pop up. Now, again, it's important to understand once an agent is created in advanced mode, it cannot be switched back to basic mode. Make sure you take that into consideration. Now, as you can see, you're going to have a pre-filled prompt over here. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and expand that and then create a prompt for your specific use case. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skim read this. Now, if you've never prompted before, it's totally okay because you can actually go over here and click this button. Go high level actually has really good documentation, but a prompt is required for a really good output. The AI agent needs to know exactly what to do. Then again, you're always going to go back and fine tune this. So it gets better and better over time, but you want to use the best practices specifically with this AI model. And from my experience, their default setting is actually pretty good. But if you know me, really good doesn't cut it. And I'm actually going to show you a really quick hack so you can get the best prompt possible. So let's go ahead and copy the URL to this help document. And then we're going to go on to chat GPT and we're going to come up with a prompt. So the prompt I'm going to use is help me come up with a prompt using this document. I am trying to build an AI agent that works at a tattoo shop that is able to pick up incoming phone calls, answer questions and route to a booking manager. And now what we're going to do is we are going to paste the help document on the bottom of this prompt. And hopefully AI is going to give us a really good outline as to what we can provide inside of Go High Level for that specific prompt. Boom. And now it is generating the prompt, as you can see over here. Let's go ahead and wait for that to be finished. And as you can see, ChatGPT just created a really good prompt for this. But then again, any output that's generated from an AI is going to be a suggestion. So it's our responsibility to make sure we look this over and make sure that it's perfect to our needs. So right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read this over really quick. I'm then going to import that inside of Go High Level inside of the prompt. And then I'm just going to make any customizations if need be. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go back to Go High Level and then I'm just going to hit paste and then voila. There we have a prompt that was generated from this specific help doc that was used to create from an AI. So hopefully this is gonna be pretty good. Now, the next part is we're going to set up our actions. What do we want this AI agent to do during the call? Do we want it to transfer a call to a human? Do we want it to trigger a workflow during the call? Do we want it to update the contacts information inside of the CRM and update specific fields? Do we want it to send a text message? This is why I really like go high level as a no code AI solution, because it gives us these options that actually actually makes sense for a lot of use cases out there. So what I like to do is I like to transfer the call to a human. Then again, you could entirely automate this process depending on your specific use case. But for this one specifically, how this tattoo shop works is we collect a deposit. And this is something that I don't really trust an AI doing quite yet. So the best use case is to just route this over to somebody who is able to actually take that handoff from the AI and actually collect the deposit and book the appointment. So we're going to transfer the call and then we're just going to set that all up. So the action name is going to be transfer to booking manager. Then we're going to enter the phone number that this AI agent is going to transfer the lead over to or the person that we want to transfer this to going to describe when the call transfer should take place. So I just put if the user is ready to book an appointment and the AI has collected the required information. And then we just have to know what the AI agent is going to say before transferring the call. So I'm going to say, please wait, I'm going to transfer you over to one of our booking managers, something like that. And then we're just going to hit save. So now what we have done is we have enabled call transfer so that when somebody calls a specific number, then the AI voice agent is going to pick up help with the customer Q and A and eventually transfer the call over to a dedicated number or a human. Now we're not going to go into workflows that might be a little bit complicated, but you can actually do so much because you can actually customize specific workflows and build a little bit more sophisticated automations. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that. The next thing that we're just going to incorporate is we're going to update the contacts field. Basically, what information do you want your AI voice agent to collect? Since people are calling the booking number wanting to get a tattoo, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update all of the important fields that we need as a business so that the AI agent knows what to collect. The way that I like to think about this is this is sort of like a form submission that you'd want your potential clients to fill out or your customers to fill out and all of the necessary information that you need as a business in order to actually fulfill your products or deliver your services. This is going to be specific to the business. As you can see, this is a tattoo shop. 
So we need the description of the tattoo, the placement, the preferred artist, the available dates or times, client information like first name, last name, and email address. And then we're pretty much ready to go transfer over that lead to a person that's ready to actually help that lead book the appointment. Now, once you're happy with that, then go ahead and hit save. And then we're going to move on to the next one, which is phone in availability. Now, again, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to connect a phone number and define the working hours for your agent. Now, keep in mind, if you haven't already, you are going to have to set up a Twilio or a lead connector phone number. I'm going to leave the pricing on the bottom of the screen. It basically shows you how to set everything up. But again, this is going to be dirt cheap anyways. So make sure you set that all up. Now, after that, you're going to select the phone number. Once you've gotten that set up using lead connector or Twilio, again, you can always buy a new number as well too. And then you can see there's a toggle that automatically enables the AI agent to be a backup to the phone number. Now, personally, I think that is a very good option to have, but again, do what works best for you. Over here, you can actually set the working hours for the agent as well too. So the agent will answer calls in its working hours. In my use case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on during the off hours of my tattoo shop. So it's able to actually pick up phone calls when my entire team is asleep. So once again, I'm going to set those hours and then I'm going to move on to the next step. As you can see, I selected 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. because that's when my team is most likely going to be asleep. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hit save after that. Now, once we finish that, all we have to do is test the AI agents so that we can try to break this thing, right? Because the whole point with building AI solutions is to build an MVP or a minimum viable product and then try to break it ourselves and eventually try to collect feedback from our clients and also people that are going to be interacting with the AI. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to find test your agent and then we're going to enter the number to receive a call. So again, just to save time, I'm not going to do that, but make sure you guys pause this video and try to actually challenge and break the AI agent just so that you can fine tune it to your needs. Now, again, just to recap, AI is not going to be perfect the first time and it's going to be a little bit less perfect the second time. What you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be going into your prompt and then you're going to be fine tuning and changing this all throughout time. My biggest piece of advice is to, again, try to break it, try to input additional information, tell the AI what not to do, what to do, and try to incorporate as many things inside of here that is applicable to your business for the best results possible. So guys, that about wraps up this video. If you made it this far, pat yourself on the back because you've completed what most people just aren't able to do. And hopefully you've created something like this in your own business or in someone else's business, which I'd love to hear more about in the comment section down below. Now, I know this can be overwhelming for a lot of you guys, but the more you learn, the more you earn. Because learning how to build AI solutions is probably one of the highest paying skills within our lifetimes. And this is a great entry point for people who are just getting started in business and also for those who want to implement this in their own businesses as well. So I encourage you to keep playing around with and experimenting with building these different AI solutions like this. Remember, there are so many new feature updates as this technology develops and advances over time. Make sure you stay tuned with everything. So if this video has been valuable, I highly recommend joining the AI Academy so that you can connect with me or actually host weekly calls. You can network with other people building AI solutions. You can learn how to build more AI use cases in your business or if you want to sell it to other businesses. So that said, thanks again for watching. If you have any other questions or you just want to show your support, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. I would highly appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.